Yo, what up guys, Old School Dan here, and in this video, let's talk about how to avoid getting love handles when bulking. So I've been getting this question quite a lot on my Instagram, a lot of the younger guys, a lot of the novice guys are trying to bulk, and yet they're getting these love handles when bulking, so they wanna know about how to, how to fix that. All right, so option number one, steroids. Steroids will allow you to build muscle and minimize fat gain. So when you bulk and you're on steroids, you're probably not gonna gain a lot of fat, but you're gonna gain a lot, a lot of muscle. All right, but again, you're probably on this channel for a reason. You know, this is a natural bodybuilding channel, you don't wanna do it that way, so you wanna know about how to do it naturally. All right, so you're not gonna like this answer because it's so raw and it's so real that some people, and some people who are really stubborn, they're not gonna be able to accept it because it's just the truth. <clears throat> all right, here we go. And I'm gonna be authentic with you, all right? I'm always gonna be authentic with you. As a natural, when you get into surplus of calories, when you're trying to gain all this weight, you're gonna gain a lot of fat and a lot of water. Let's just say you gain into surplus, you gain all this weight, you gain like 20 pounds. You're lucky, you're lucky, especially if you've been training for a very long time. You're lucky if you gain, if you gain one or two pounds of muscle from all that weight. Because as a natural, when, you know, the first few years you train, you probably gain 20, 30 pounds a year, in, in a year, and <clears throat> you know, you gain all this weight, and it's a lot of it's muscle. And that's that's most likely true. But you start to hit that five year mark, and everything over that, muscle gain is very, very difficult. It's not as easy as you, it was when you first started training. It becomes one or two pounds per year, maybe one pound per year if you get lucky. Sometimes it'd be three or four, depending on how your genetics are, they set up. If you got great genetics, then you can gain um, <clears throat> good muscle per year. But when you bulk, you're gonna gain a lot of fat and a lot of water, okay? Get that. And there's no way of going around it at all. <clears throat> Even when someone takes steroids, they're gonna gain a little bit of fat and a little bit of water too. But it's gonna, probably gonna be very minimal compared to the guy who's natural because when, as a, when you're doing it as a natural, you're gonna gain a lot of fat and a lot of water, all right? <clears throat> but another thing is that the water and fat will distribute however it pleases. That's why some people get these love handles. Some people get a lot of fat in their thighs. Some people get the titties. Some people gain a lot of fat in their belly. It's just how it is, man. Like, it's just genetics. Like, it's just, you know, some people are really blessed and the fat distributes really, really well. And some people are, don't, aren't blessed and distributes very poorly. <clears throat> and they get these love handles and whatnot. Me, I get it on my thighs. A lot of my thighs, I get a little bit of love handles and that's just how it is. I accept it, you know, okay? But one thing I also want to mention is that the first place you gain fat is the last place you lose it in. Because I know a lot of people that are trying to lose the stubborn belly fat, they're wondering, why isn't it going away, yada, yada. <clears throat> this is because you didn't really give a shit about your health at first, and now you're wondering how to reverse all that stuff. And you're losing inches everywhere on your waist, your thighs, your calves, and your arms. Everything's getting smaller except your belly. Why is this? Because this is the first place you gained a lot of fat in, and it will be the last place you lose it in. All right, accept this, accept it, man. Don't go, don't, don't try to fight it. But your problem still isn't solved. You don't know how to prevent love handles when bulking because I haven't given the answer yet. And right now I'm about to talk about it. So here's what I'm gonna recommend. Get into a slight surplus of calories, a slight surplus of calories. Observe and study your body when the love handles aren't present at all. it will probably be like maintenance. Um, Maintenance, count, maintenance, and figure out when they start to become their prominent. Find that sweet spot in between where you can still, you know, gain some muscle, gain some size, gain some body weight without compromising, um, you know, the, the too much body fat or gain the love handles in general. You gotta find that sweet spot, but understand that this method will be a very slow progressive method. And if you aren't happy with it, jump on a freaking cycle, man, because literally you can do it three ways. You can jump on a cycle and gain some muscle and minimize fat gain or you can do it how i guess how some most people do it which is they gain all this weight all this all this um <clears throat> body weight and they get the love handles and they're okay with it or the third way is that do the slow progressive method where you gain a little bit of a little bit of fat a little bit of water and a little bit of muscle but very slowly all right there's only three methods and that's just how it's gonna be that's most how most people do it and i want you to know that progress will be slow but you gotta accept it because as a natural excuse me it is a mental game. It becomes very, very difficult because some people aren't patient. They're not patient because they see all these people on social media, all these people on YouTube, they gain all this size, they're so freaking jacked, and they're wondering how they're doing it, and most likely because they're on steroids, all right? And you start to feel really, you start to compare yourself, you start to feel insecure, needy, and you're like, man, why is this happening to me? Why can't I gain muscle like they can? It's because you start comparing your body as a natural body to someone who's on steroids, who is literally, can, you cannot and should not even be comparing yourself because that's not even real, all right? <clears throat> so this isn't the only method 
there's a few others, but if you want someone to take over this for you, if you want someone to write you a meal plan, a nutrition plan, calculate all your macros, figure out all the hard work for you, I can be, I would be happy to help you with that, have to support you on your journey. All you gotta do is just shoot me an email or shoot me a DM on Instagram. I'd be happy to help you with them. Also, my two cents, my two freaking cents, is stop being so insecure with your body. Be a confident man. I understand that this is the reality of a natural that when you gain, when you get into a surplus of calories, you will gain fat and you will gain water. And a small amount of that will be natural because as a natural, it becomes incrementally harder to gain muscle over the years. And it's a mental game. It's a very mental game because, like I said earlier, you start to compare yourself to the other people. You notice everyone gaining all this freaking muscle, all this weight, and yours is very slow. Okay? Like, I knew a guy who literally jumped on gear this year and whatever years I've, I've been training seven years naturally, whatever years I produce, he literally has already, like, almost passed it in, like, maybe, like, six months. And I was like, damn, that's really fast. That's the power of steroids. More power to you. More power to him. But, like I said, just a quick recap. It's going to be, it's, it's, it's the inevitable. You're going to gain fat. You're going to gain water. Unless you take storage, you can avoid. You can start to minimize that that um, process of those factors. All right. But if you want someone to write you a nutrition program, calculate your macros, give you some guidance, and tell you exactly how to eat without doing all the hard work, I'd be happy to help you solve that problem. Like you know, trying to avoid getting love handles when bulking. I'd be happy to help you with that. All you gotta do is shoot me an email on, or DM me on Instagram. Guys, hope you enjoyed this video. Any questions you got below? Drop them below, drop a comment. You can shoot me a DM on Instagram, shoot me an, um, an email. You can write me on on Facebook, on Messenger. But subscribe for more videos like this. Give this video a thumbs up. Thanks for watching. I'm Moscow Dan. I'm gone. Peace.